Hello, everyone. Today, we have the bizarre story of a sovereign citizen who also claims Moorish identity while he sits on a civil service commission in Little Rock, Arkansas, and makes decisions regarding hiring, firing of people on poli in police departments, fire departments, and other important public jobs. The news down there ran a clip on it. We're going to watch the clip. We're then going to read the individual individual's reaction and you decide for yourself whether he's a sovereign citizen and whether he should not be in that position. Um, I'm Joe Palmetto, Joe the Lawyer. This is Attorney Audits Agitators. In case you didn't know, and you probably do, but if the, I wrote a book called Sovereign Citizens that discusses the topics of my videos, everything you need to know about sovereign citizens, the link is in the description below. Go ahead and buy it. Watch my videos. Buy the book. Everything will make more sense and will be more fun. Now, before we watch this clip, raise your cup, your glass in the air. I have my favorite beverage in the world, hot coffee. Okay, raise your cup, your glass in the air. Look at the old Common Sense Academy logo there. Sip with me, same time sip. It tastes better when we sip together. Let's watch. The Little Rock Fraternal Order of Police is calling for the resignation of a civil... Well, tonight, the president of the Little Rock Fraternal Order of Police is calling for the resignation of a civil service commissioner all over his involvement in what some call an extremist group. Channel 7 Shelby Rose joins us now with that story. Shelby? Chris, FOP President Ronnie Morgan is expected to go before the Little Rock Board of Directors at any moment to express his concern with Civil Service Commissioner Henry Aiken's self-identification as a Moor. Red flags were raised in the minds of the Little Rock Fraternal Order of Police last year when Civil Service Commissioner Henry Aikens started asking questions during day two of Charles Starks' hearing. Mr. Aikens asked them if they were aware that there were two constitutions one for the United States of America and one of the United States of America. That thought process is associated with Moors. The Southern Poverty Law Center considers it an extremist group of sovereign citizens. Aikens petitioned for a name change last year and now goes by Ali Ali Bay outside of Commission Business, a surname Moors use. His affiliation is also shown in this traffic report from last October. In it, Aiken states that Arkansas traffic laws don't apply to him. I think it should call into question his impartiality for not only officers who may have to appear before the commission, but also citizens who can appeal uh, decisions by the police department to the Civil Service Commission. Morgan says he brought this issue to the attention of multiple city leaders months ago and is now going public because nothing has been done. He says he wants Aikens to resign. In defense of his traffic violations, Aiken says in a statement, I informed the police that an individual does not need a driver's license if they are not driving for commerce, which I wasn't. I stated what he is referring to is not a law or lawful, but in fact, a city statute. And during a phone conversation, Aikens did disclose that there may be other civil service commissioners who also identify as Moors, but he did not name any names. Chris? Okay, Shelby Rose for us tonight. Shelby, thanks. You can read Aiken's statement defending his beliefs on KATV.com. Okay, everybody, sit back, sit tight. There's a lot to go through here, so I'm going to take my time a little bit on this one. What we have is a gentleman who sits on the Civil Service Commission. It appears that his former name was Henry Aiken, and now he goes by something along the lines of Ali Ali Bey. Now, the Civil Service Commissions, I've dealt with them actually in my legal career, they're, they're generally in charge of hiring and firing for positions such as police officers, firefighters, and other civil servants in a certain community. They can also uh, deal with certain disciplinary actions, etc. It's a very important board. They make very important decisions that affect people's lives in deep ways. So uh, the, the president of the Little Rock Fraternal Order of Police, this Ronnie Morgan, uh, was at a hearing apparently or somehow got word at it that during a hearing, this Mr. Aiken 
Ask somebody that if they knew that there were two constitutions during a questioning portion of the hearing. I'm assuming here, but that's what it sounds like. So, uh, so you know, th this two constitution things, you and I know that this is BS, but that does open up the door to make someone think that you are a sovereign citizen or you are some sort of uh, anti-government um, activist. All right. And uh, personally, I have a problem with a sovereign citizen or an anti-government activist being on a civil service board. So it, it appears this Ronnie uh, Morgan, the Little Rock Fraternal Order of Police, is bringing this uh, to the attention of the entire board or whatever agency oversees that. And I can understand why he's concerned, especially for the police, because the police uh, generally have to deal with sovereign citizens, deal with the, the Moorish sovereign citizens as well. I recognize that not all Moors are sovereign citizens. There's a Moorish Science Temple. It's a legitimate nonprofit organization that is semi-spiritual, uh, semi-nationalistic, and um, it formally has no ties at all to the sovereign citizen movement. I recognize that 100%. I've researched it, and uh, I have no reason to believe that a vast majority of its members d disassociate from the sovereign citizen movement entirely. In fact, they've done that formally. However, just because you say or do that, okay, if you start to bring in those sovereign citizen ideas, it's a problem. Um, this guy, you know, he changed his name to Ali Ali Bay. So he's certainly considering himself a Moor, maybe at least under the Moorish science temple um, analysis. Now, there's a couple things, though, that make you believe that he is a sovereign citizen and has anti-government activist beliefs. Number one, the, the question about the two constitutions. And remember, this is seeping into his work. It's seeping into the hearing. That's a problem. There's no two constitutions. All right. And then even in this news, this news clip, it said uh, that he claimed the traffic laws didn't apply to him and he didn't have to drive with a driver's license. Boom, right there. Two more clues. So we have three pieces of evidence against this gentleman to support the assertion and or conclusion that he has sovereign citizen beliefs. Honestly, the Moorish part doesn't even really matter. OK, um, but the, but, you know, the, the anti-government stuff does. All right. Right to travel is fake. It's not real law. OK, so um, this this gentleman uh, the, made a statement in response. So let's read to this. Let's read the statement. Maybe it'll help us get through some more. So he says in the statement, my name is Ali Ali Bay. I've lived here, here in Little Rock, Arkansas for most of my adult life. I've claimed my nationality approximately two years ago. I'm of Moorish American descent that derived from the country Morocco, which is now called America from our ancient mothers and fathers of Pangea. I'm going to stop there. Okay, that right there, that's a little out there, all right? You got to learn some history. Uh, it is also known as the Northgate Northwest uh, MXM, West Africa, North America, which Moors are indigenous natives to this land. President Barack Hussein Obama II endorsed the UN General Assembly October 2nd, 2007, Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples, which New Zealand, United States, Canada, and Australia agreed upon. Okay, yeah, that's true, sir, but you are likely not an indigenous person, okay? I can't say that for sure, but you are likely not indigenous. And I'm not going to say that, uh, that you know, people of African descent or darker color skins haven't been treated um, extremely unfairly in this country. They have, and, and it's a problem and we need to fix it, all right? But... But you can't just change your ethnic background to whatever you want it to be. Sure, you can in titles, all right, but you're not indigenous just because you say you're indigenous. It, he goes on, he says, this instrument is the framework to correcting the wrongs of the indigenous people like that of aforementioned Australia, whom now are making reparations to give their aboriginals their land back. So with that being stated, being a Moor is not a sovereign citizen. It is the last legal name we had before we were rounded up by General Grant and tagged, uh, branded, and named, uh, et cetera, et cetera. I don't want to read those out loud. Um, a whole bunch of, of bad names and slurs. Um, 
so again, I, I'm not exactly sure what he's talking about there, but he's not an Aboriginal. Even if you are the descendant of somebody uh, who was who was a slave in this country, which is you know a terrible mark on this country's past and history, that doesn't make you an Aboriginal or Indigenous. The Australians are dealing with the Indigenous Aboriginal people. Uh, it goes on to say, more stand for truth, peace, freedom, and justice. We obey laws of the original constitutions, not from the inorganic act of Congress of 1871, which turned our rights into crimes such as traffic tickets. Okay, that's straight. See, now, you know, other than that other stuff kind of is tangential, maybe, but you can't go off, like, he's talking about the 14th Amendment. He's saying traffic tickets don't apply, all right? That's straight sovereign citizen content. You all know that. I was given a ticket back in 2019 for not having a driver's license that I turned in on my own reconnaissance and not having tags on my truck at the time. I informed the police that an individual does not need a driver's license if they are not driving for commerce, which I wasn't. There it is, sovereign citizen. I stated that what he is referring to is not a law lawful, but in fact, a city statute. I also presented him with a United States of America passport, which superseded a driver's license and provided a document with several Supreme Court case laws that support this. So fake, so case law that they've taken out of context from the old, the Supreme Court, very old cases, don't apply anymore. Passport doesn't give you the right to drive. You have to have a driver's license. Straight up sovereign citizen. He says, I've serviced on the Little Rock Police and Fire Commission since September 27, 2011, and have rendered fair and equitable rulings since then. With this also being stated, Mr. Ronnie Morgan or anyone else for that matter shouldn't have any concerns of my nationality. This should be very concerning to everyone in these current, current times as being extremely biased because he's not questioning... <coughs> It's not Corona. He's not questioning any of the other commissioner's nationality. Respectfully, Ali Ali Bay. So, um, uh, yeah, he's not questioning your nationality. Okay, um, what what is being? And I, I don't know for sure what he's questioning. All right, let's say that. But it's a problem if you're claiming that that you don't need a driver's license, that that tickets aren't valid. Okay. Um, that there are two constitutions, that you are somehow outside of the law, that's a problem for a civil servant. It's a problem. It's a big problem. And to sit on the Civil Service Commission with those ideas, all right, has nothing to do with your nationality, though, you know, it, 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 it's... There's, there's, there can be this blending of Moors and, and sovereign citizens, even though I recognize the Moorish temporal is different. Nothing to do with nationality. It has to do with bad and dangerous ideas. Okay, so I personally think that um, you know this guy needs to rethink what he's what he's saying and doing, and especially saying and doing those things during an actual hearing. Now I've actually. Uh, I've dealt with a lot of the issues that this brings up in this book, Sovereign Citizens, written by Joe Palmetto, Joe the Lawyer, which you can find on Amazon, $9.99 on Kindle. The, it's, the link is in the description below. We all know the sovereign citizen movement is a problem. Um, Moorish sovereign citizens just happen to be one type of sovereign citizens. And not every adherent of the Moorish temple is a sovereign citizen. Um, but, you know, sovereign citizens, no matter what their race, identity, or national origin um cause a lot of problems okay and it, it, they're, they're not they're not contributing to society their their thoughts and ideas are not constructive okay so i'm putting this message out there for everybody thank you for tuning in i'm joe palmetto joe the lawyer attorney audits agitators buy my book see you soon